Hello and welcome back. In this video we'll have a brief discussion of the kinetic isotope effect. So if a chemist wants to determine a mechanism for a reaction and if the suspected mechanism has a hydrogen in it then a chemist may replace that hydrogen with one of its isotopes called deuterium. Okay so deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen that has a neutron in it and because of that neutron, that's going to affect the rate of the reaction. So it actually will slow reactions down. So if it's likely that a particular hydrogen is involved in the rate determining step, then it can be replaced with deuterium and that reaction rate can then be studied. So regular hydrogen doesn't have any neutrons in the nucleus. That's why it's called a proton oftentimes. And this hydrogen with a 2 is called deuterium and is often abbreviated or it is abbreviated with just a D. So you'll often see this on things like the ACS final where you'll see a D instead of an H and they just want to see if you can recognize this a lot of times. So deuterium has the same chemical reactivity as hydrogen but it may have a different rate of reaction and that's generally due to the reduced the difference of reduced mass between the deuterium and the atom it's connected to. So let's consider this reaction where the alkyl halide undergoes an elimination with a strong base and this is called an E2 reaction. So what happens here is obviously um, the base pulls off a hydrogen, forms a double bond, kicks out the leaving group and we get this alkene, right? So we know that the rate of this reaction is equal to some K times the concentration of the substrate times the concentration of the uh, I'm sorry, base, okay? So the concentration of the substrate times the concentration of the base, okay? So the substrate is involved in the rate determining step. So we could prove that by putting, instead of uh, putting a hydrogen there, we could put a deuterium at the beta position and see if that affects the rate. In this case, the rate occurs, as this reaction occurs at a much slower rate with the deuterium. So the base is going to pull off a deuterium instead of the hydrogen, form the double bond, and kick out the leaving group. Because deuterium has the same reactivity, it undergoes the same types of reactions, but it undergoes those reactions at a slower rate. So if the rate is affected, then it can be determined that that uh, that hydrogen or that deuterium was involved in that rate determining step. So if it slows the rate by more than a factor of say five, then we can conclude that the breaking of that carbon hydrogen bond occurs in the rate determining step. In this case, the reaction is nearly seven times slower with the beta deuteriums than beta hydrogens. So this is one of the reasons we know that the E2 elimination is a concerted elimination. So for each pair of compounds below, we're going to identify which one is expected to go un undergo elimination more rapidly when treated with a strong base. So more rapidly. So we're looking for the one that doesn't have a deuterium as the beta hydrogen. So this one on the left has a deuterium instead of hydrogens at the beta position. So the one on the right is going to be more rapid. Okay. So for B, we have deuteriums at the beta position. The one on the right has a deuterium at the alpha position. That hydrogen is not in a position to be affected by this rate. So uh, the one on the right is going to be more rapid. Okay. So for C, we've got, for the one on the left, we've got deuteriums at the beta position. And the one on the right has deuteriums at the alpha position. So the one on the right, again, will be more rapid. Okay. So identify whether each of the following reactions is expected to exhibit a primary isotope effect if CD3, CD3, CBr is used instead of the um, regular hydrogens. Okay, so in other words, if this with deuterium is used instead, okay? So it doesn't really matter what, what, what our base is. Okay, if we put deuteriums here for both of these, it's going to affect the rate. So yes, they will both exhibit, oh, I'm sorry, no. 
This one has a strong base at the top, so that will exhibit a kinetic isotope effect. At the bottom, this is going to undergo an E1 reaction. That's where I was missing that. E1, and so the next step is going to be, if we've got a deuterium here, it's going to pull that off and form the double bond. So pulling off that deuterium is not involved in the rate determining step, and so therefore uh, since we know that this is going to be an E1 because it has a just a this is just a solvolysis, solvolysis reaction, the ethanol is a very weak base. Then this will not we will not have a primary isotope effect for this for B. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.